You may have used Excel 2010's payment function to determine the payment of a loan. However, for an existing loan, perhaps you've forgotten what the original interest rate was. You can use the rate function in order to determine that. The rate function returns the interest rate per period of an annuity. It is calculated by iteration, and it can have zero or more solutions. We've got a very basic worksheet where I've got a loan amount, the years of the loan, and how much I pay each month on the loan. However, I've forgotten what the interest rate is. So I'm going to use the rate function to determine that. I'll start by typing the equal rate with an open parenthesis. And I could just fill in the rest of the information here. Or if I need a little bit more help, I can click on the Insert function from the formula bar. So the first thing it's asking is the number of periods of the loan. The number of periods for this is in the B4 cell. However, that is stated as the years of the loan. And I want to have the number of months. So I'll multiply that by 12. The payment is the payment that I make each month. And I'm going to click into B6. The present value is the amount of the loan, and I'm going to click into B3. I have no future value. I could leave it blank or type zero. And for the type of the loan, perhaps I want to make this the beginning of the period, so I'll do a one. If I scroll down on the right-hand side, I'll also see that there's the option to guess what the rate will be. I'm going to leave that empty and if I do, it will assume the guess will be 10%. And then I'll click on OK. So this is the monthly interest rate. If I want to make that the yearly interest rate, I'll click up into the formula bar and multiply the result by 12. And then I'll see the annual interest rate for this loan is 6.05%. And that's how you can use the rate function in Excel 2010 to determine the interest rate of a loan.